How are you doing? My name is Shobha Basavraj. Welcome to my channel, Be a Savvy Millennial. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, write comments below and give thumbs up. Coronavirus is the news of the day. This video is about how it spreads, how the virus behaves. It's like being informed is uh, being forearmed. You will know what steps to take to avoid contracting the disease. Watch my previous video, uh, the link appears uh, on top uh, on coronavirus. It's a full guidelines. It's a complete guidelines to when you are well informed, you know how to handle the situation. By the way, talking about information, it is also important to get the information from the right source, not from your neighbor or a friend who is misunderstood or misinformed. World Health Organization is the best source uh, for this information. You can also access your local and national news for information on coronavirus, uh, for whether it's spreading in your locality and so on. It will help you to take the necessary steps and precautions. Just like in the past, uh, we've had in the past decade or so, we've had outbreaks of viruses and you survived didn't you? Uh, this, uh, this time you will survive too. Just follow the necessary precautionary steps. Don't panic. The two things that happens when you panic, it creates confusion and fear. What does fear do? It brings about some chemical changes in your body. One of them is it reduces your resistance and this is something that you don't want to do to yourself. So stay calm and be informed so that you can take the necessary steps to prevent contracting the disease. The virus needs a host. When it enters your body, it starts multiplying. It takes about 14 days for the incubation period to complete before the symptoms show up. What happens in those 14 days? When you go around, when you cough and sneeze, you spread it to other people because you're not aware of it until the symptoms show up and you go through a testing phase. How does the disease spread? Through contact, air, water and food. And talking about food, uh, it's well known that virus multiplies rapidly in protein-rich food. So be wary of consuming uh, meat, poultry. Make sure that it's well cooked, even eggs. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, they release tiny droplets of fluid into the air they're, they're capable of traveling quite a distance and they settle on surfaces around and that's why you need to be wary of all the places that your hands come in contact with let's go over some of the common uh, places or public places that we um, have our hands coming in contact with uh, the ATM machines when you use the buttons to uh, you know do your transactions One of the uh, most common area would be the handrails of a stairwell. We have the habit of, while going up the stairs or down the stairs, you know, we have the habit of holding on to the handrails. The shopping cart is the most infected uh, uh, object. So make sure that you disinfect the handle before you start using the shopping cart. The pens that you use in public places like at a bank, when you borrow a pen, it could be infected. Uh, the register, the payment register at a retail store or a grocery store, if you have to use some buttons, that is one other thing uh, that is, uh, could be infected. Then using an elevator, when you have to choose the flow that you're going to, you use the buttons. 
So that's one other uh, thing that you could uh, that could be uh, infected. Your car steering wheel. You go around doing your uh, activities for the day and then you get into your car and you just spread it around your steering wheel. So disinfect your steering wheel. Your car keys, it's the same thing. Uh, after you touch things around, you pull out your keys from your pocket and you're transferring all everything that you've touched and gone through to your keys. So disinfect your keys. If you are one of those who frequently visits a gym for workout, the equipment in at the gym could be infected. So make sure to disinfect before you start using the gym. Uh, your mobile device, your phone is one other uh, thing that you we commonly uh, access a number of times throughout the day. So you're spreading from other areas that your hand touches and you're spreading everything onto your phone. So disinfect your phone. The universities and schools, and I'm sure uh, they are taking the necessary steps, but let your children be informed about washing their hands frequently, not to touch their eyes, their mouth, or their nose. Wash with soap and water as frequently as possible or disinfect. Use a hand sanitizer. Not to forget entertainment, the movie theater, concerts, music concerts, sporting events and any public shows, the chairs and uh, anything that you touch around there could be infected. So be wary. Wash your hands, disinfect your hands using a hand sanitizer. If you get the information from World Health Organization, your local uh, or national news that the disease has spread in your location, then make sure to take these further steps. Avoid going to theme parks, public swimming pools, uh, business centers where you go to uh, make copies or send facts, and nail and hair salons you could uh, catch virus from these places. Post office, when you're making payments uh, at the post office, when you use the uh, buttons on the you know, payment pad. So that's how you get. As we know that it can also spread through water, it is important uh, if you get the information from World Health Organization, your local or national news that a certain source of water is infected please avoid drinking that water instead what you can do is you can boil the water boiling kills germs and you can even drop a few uh, basil leaves and basil is uh, known to uh, kill germs if the infection has invaded your area make sure to eat cooked food Cooking kills germs, especially a protein-rich food, meat, poultry, eggs. Make sure to cook it to the right temperature before you consume. Try and avoid eating salads or uncooked food, raw food, because when the virus settles, it, since it's not gone through any cooking process, you can contract the virus. At the end of the day, when you get home, Remember to wash your hands first or disinfect with a hand sanitizer before you touch any other thing at home so that you're not cross-contaminating. Follow the precautionary measure to prevent 
contracting the disease and to keep you and your family safe. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.